Oh, well, listen, we are talking all things sevens this yep. morning. And Sako Makata is one of the young members of the current Blitzbox squad. And he, of course, is in line to make his sevens World Cup debut this weekend. How exciting. Oh, it's very exciting. And hopefully after his performance, we'll all be like Helen going, yeah. Because <laughs> the 23-year-old made his debut in 2019 and he has played in 16 seven series tournaments to date, scoring 60 points. Mm, hey? well, I, that is so incredible. Sure. He is the one to watch and our sports reporter, Michael Pedro, got to get a little bit of a taste of how the World Cup debutante is feeling ahead of this tournament. A World Cup on home soil is something that every professional athlete looks forward to and wants to be a part of. The Springbok 7 side have the chance to have that experience at the Cape Town Stadium this weekend. We caught up with Sako Makata ahead of the tournament. South Africa is a big, uh, big rugby country and to be able to represent my country at a World Cup in Cape Town, which is probably the heart of rugby, um, would be a very special moment. So I'm pretty excited and I'll be sure to do my best to make sure that I'm in that team. Man. God willing, I will be there. I think what's so special about the coach is that he, he pays close attention um, to, to detail. So he, he, he pays a lot of attention to his players. So you could say that he basically knows you very well. So whenever you're not good or whenever you need help in a specific department, he's the guy to turn to. He's played a massive role in my development as a, as a person and as well as a rugby player. So yeah. Most likely to show up late uh, to training has to be Christy or, or Salvin Davids. Most likely to forget their passport has to be, oh, there's a couple, JC Pretorius, um, Christy Hobler, Mola Duplessis. Uh, the best person to remember has to be Fund and Clovo. Um, we, we have similar taste in music, similar, t similar taste in lifestyles, um, so we don't clash quite a lot, and yeah, we just get along quite well. Who hates fitness the most? Um, if I'm being honest, I'll say the whole team. Um, but I'm gonna raise my hand and say I'm one. I'm probably the biggest one. Uh, Zane Davis has to be up there with me, always, <laughs> always slacking at the back. Um, so yeah, those are the two that hate fitness the most. Which teammate takes the most selfies has to be James. Um, has to be Devolt Human. Devolt Human has a personal photographer. <laughs> um, Angelo Davis has fashion shows. Um, Jason Pretorius, but Jason Pretorius is, a, is more of a video guy, so he enjoys his little edits. Um, who else? Yeah, <laughs> those are the guys. I would imagine a few people are physically intimidating for you, but that's a, he's a bit lad. That is <laughs> no, a young gun, eh? He is a tank. Uh, and I think when you look at the forwards training, he's right in amongst it all the time. He's definitely... If you, if you can put a, a, the term powerhouse yeah. to anyone in this blitz box side, it's definitely him. And you need those, I think, of like the likes of a Chris Dry, these guys who come mm. with the, the physical energy, but also that, yes, yeah. they are the heart, the backbone of the team and a lot of intelligence, rugby intelligence for a youngster there. Um, more players, more rugby World Cup sevens, yes, on the way.